welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Dad, I just nearly fell over. Pardon? I've got to close my eyes apparently because apparently it's mummy's turn to be surprised by the elf this morning. So let's close my eyes. Come on then, hold my hand. Guide me. Oh, gosh, I'm scared. I'm actually really scared. Can I open them? Whoa. Can I open my eyes? Can I sit down on the sofa? Where is the sofa? I think it's here. Oh, there we go. Can I open my eyes yet? Yeah. Can I open them? Can I open them now? Yeah. Wow, he left you a... I can't think what it's called. My mind's gone black. A letter to and from Santa. <laughs> oh yeah, so you got a, a dear Santa. <laughs> so we can write our letter to Santa today, can't we? Yeah. And they go to again. Pardon? And they go again. Yeah, and then when you go to nursery tomorrow morning, yeah. we can go and post them, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. So you can write them today, and then tomorrow we can post them. So today's plans are we are going to open our advent calendars because the kids no longer have any chocolate advent calendars because they ate them all. Um, because no matter how much you keep them out of sight, these pesky little creatures manage to find them. Um, Lexi needs her hair brushing, as you can tell. She's actually been dragged through her head backwards. Um, I need to stick on Santa's beard for the few days that we've missed. We also need to write our letters to Santa and we also need to do, we're going to do some baking today. Um, so yeah, Lexi has just got out Santa's beard now, so it looks like we're doing that first. And then William's got his letter to Santa, so I think he's excited to do that. Oh no, we're standing on it. What are you doing? Change of plan, it looks like we're doing our Christmas letters instead. Um, I should just get your pencil sharpener over there to sharpen the pencil. Yeah. Okay, William, are you going to come over here, darling? Look, where's your favorite pencil? you got a slotty nose, you need to wipe your nose. It's That's something weird to do. I've drugged myself a paracetamol because later on tonight I'm going out with my friend. We're going to this thing called Eve and we're going to go do some Christmas crafting. And I'm... That's pencil! It's okay, you can have this one out of William's. And honestly, I'm so excited. I'm not a crafty person at all, as you can tell from my gingerbread house and my food things. Um, but I'm so excited to just go and have like a Christmas evening. Um, so yeah, it's ba basically in Spilsby, there's this thing called Eve on a Tuesday and Brotherhood, if I remember rightly, or Brother on a Thursday. And basically it's mental health. So on a Tuesday, it's um, women's mental health group. And on a Thursday, it is men's mental health group. You just go make friends and stuff like that. And it's really lovely. And I love the fact that they have done this. Um, so, yeah, um, we're going to that. So I can't wait to bring you along to that with me and see what that's all about. Um, I'm going at about seven um, for a couple of hours. So, yeah, that'll be exciting and a new experience for me. Um, I've got my friend Claire coming over, who I used to work with, um, for a cup of tea as well. So I've got them. Okay, darling, I'll do it for you. I've got, okay, I've got a very busy, jam-packed day today. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be non-stop for me today. And I still need to edit yesterday's vlog because by the time we got in, I was that tired that I just fell straight to sleep. Anyway, I'm gonna stop ignoring my children because that's not very nice, is it? And sharpen the pencils. I need to um, 
put dinner in the slow cooker because it's quarter to twelve. And if I don't put it in now, then I um, don't know how else I'm going to do stew. Um, so cause I've never done it not in the slow cooker, if that makes sense. So I'm having the traditional, it's probably with doing an online shop. It's that it all comes in this and then Kira's just literally gone with it all. So yeah, I'm just going to do some British lean beef steak. No, it's mince. I don't want mince. I want my stew in steak. I'll tell you what, right, everybody hates, here it is. Oh, it's Scottish lean diced beef, which is really annoying because I'm pretty certain I always ask for less fat. Um, people always hate stew and dumplings, but to me, stew and dumplings is that, oh, I've got my buddy fed. Stew and dumplings is that dinner that you just want. I feel like it's the dinner that literally shouts out winter to you and Christmas to you because it's just one of them easy slow cooked meals that I used to have growing up um, as a kid. Um, don't get me wrong, I used to be the same, like, oh, stew and dumplings again. But now it literally just takes me back to my childhood of, oh my god, it's winter, it's coming up to Christmas because here's my Christmas, like this, here's my coming up to Christmas dinner. Um, do I need to go to the shop? Because I don't think I've got any suet. I mean, dumplings. I've got flour. I've got no suet. So I'm gonna have to go to the shop. He's going to the shop anyway. He's going to get some washing up liquid. Because as you can tell, there is a big old pot mess there. But we've got no washing up liquid. I forgot to order some of my food shop. Um, and I kept forgetting to go to the shop to go get some. Um, and obviously yesterday was out for a meal anyway. So as soon as Kieran got in from work, that was it. Like we were straight back out the door again. Um, so I need to get some washing up liquid so I can wash these pots. Um, but anyway. But before, before I do that, I need to put the slow cooker on and put it on high because we'll have dinner at about six. So it does it for a good six hours, but I want to put it on high. Um, and she, yeah, she's got my ingredients out. My uh, stock cubes and my red wine. And my. I do put a little bit of relish in. Relish? Or do I put. Dark soy, I can't remember if I put relish or dark soy in. Um, and then I also use a bit of this Die Best gravy. So that's what I use. And then I'm also just going to put some cauliflower and broccoli in it as well. Um, so I'll have to give some to you. Um, I don't know if I've got relish on it. Um, I'm just going to put a dash of. I thought I had some mustard sauce, 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 whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm just gonna probably just gonna leave that out today to be fair and just put my dash of red wine in instead. So yeah, perfect Christmas dinner. I actually want to see this meat because you know I've not actually looked at it since the food shop came and I'm actually really scared. Scottish. Scottish there's a lot here, Jesus. I already got the small one. Blow me. That is a lot for us. So Anyway, let's crack on and do some dinner. slow cooker I mean it's already starting to steam up <laughs> do that in the slow cooker I mean I don't like peas but we get this freezer filler from co-op I'm going to show you background the freezer filler from co-op probably like 
just a couple of days before payday where like we need like the freezer topping up and you get quite a lot of stuff for five pound and quite to be fair i did it in my last vlogmas i'll link the video above like what you get and stuff um but you get frozen peas and i don't like peas at all um but i thought well i need to use them up instead they're just gonna go to waste in the freezer anyway they're just gonna sit there um so i thought i'll put them in the slow cooker and then at least then that way if they're mixed up i won't necessarily taste them will i so that's my plan anyway uh, i mean kira needs them anyway so yeah i just need to now um when... so it's a tiny little bit uh it changed my ears bum because my ears left me an early christmas present um and tidy up hoover up and stuff and the house smell nice for before claire gets here um well, i use advent candles with the kids still um that's something i still need to do um that's about it i, I guess um They've had their breakfast. I'm not hungry because my appetite. I don't mind anyone else, but when you've got a cold, does your appetite like really go? Because you can't like breathe as such because you're like bunged up at your nose and obviously throat and stuff like that. You feel very like bunged up here because I can't breathe like as much. Like when it comes to eating, like literally, I feel like I'm too in so much energy into it just eating. So I literally just have not eaten properly in the past, but since Saturday, I think. Um. So I did tell the doctors that I've not got my appetite while I've got a cold. They said, oh, it's okay, as long as you're drinking, then that's completely fine. I um, you keep them well hydrated, that's completely fine. Obviously, just little bits here and there, doesn't matter what it is. Um, so, like I say, last night I think I hackled like four chips and a bit of chicken. <laughs> because I just generally didn't have the energy to eat and I couldn't eat. And yeah, which is horrible. I'm hoping I'm not going back to my ways that I used to do. Um, but that's a whole new story, hopefully. Because there's no point to talk about it if it doesn't happen because what's point to talk about something that's in the past. Well, every time I walk into my living room, I'm like, ugh, I hate it in here. The simple fact of, I need to get a new rug. I don't, I don't think you know until you've had a rug then had to get rid of a rug until you realise how much of a statement it made on the room. Like, we did have a rug, like here, but then we had to get rid of it because, well, we got, we had one anyway. Um, and then we got rid of it because William just kept being sick all the time when he was a baby, obviously, as you know, with his milk and stuff. And obviously the kittens that came along, and the kittens then was obviously not a little trained and stuff like that, so they ruined it. Obviously we're at this thing now, there's no point getting a new rug until the cats are fully litter trained, and this, that and the other. But now I actually hate coming into my living room because I generally feel like it doesn't look as cosy as what it used to with a rug in it. And it's mad. Because all that it was was a mug. Was a rug. I just had a mug. <laughs> I think it was was a rug. Um, but I just feel like it makes my living room look so messy all the time. I mean, I don't personally like this carpet anyway. But at the time, it was the only carpet that we could afford. Um, so one day, I do want to get the carpet replaced. Um, it's that nice, like, thick, grey one that's comfy. But again, like Kieran says, while the kids are young like they are, this floor is so hard wearing. Like, it gets stains out of it. Like, I don't know what, um, like, the kids, when they've dropped things. That's it, like it's out straight away from like Dr. Be Beacons, Beckham's, whatever you want to call it, that carpet stain remover, um, and things like that. And it's been had God knows what on it, and it's come up as if it's like brand new again. Um, so obviously, that's one other thing. Um, so yeah, I've just got to do a few little bits before Claire comes up, got as a cat's tail, and then yes, see what carries on then. Move it up and everything, and I'm just changing my wax melts. Um, I'm changing them to, what are we changing them to? What are they called? I don't know. So we're changing them to Santa's sugar cookies. I got these from Asda the other day for like a pound, I think. I'm hoping that they last a lot longer than the ones that I previously had. I feel like wax melts don't last very long with their scent. <laughs> You're so funny, Lex. Like. calendars last year than she was this year so this year she's more understanding but last year she wasn't last year we managed to get through all the advent calendars day by day this year they've got one chocolate advent calendar between us because they've wrecked both chocolate advent calendars and she's now missing a number out of pepper because i don't know if she opened that yesterday 
or if she has at generally it's called me one missing but i doubt very much it's called me one missing and i'm absolutely gutted because this is what i mean by like we've got we've got no storage in this house i don't know how many little stories to put the advert kind of i put them on top of the worktops they get it i leave them down here and they get them i'm gonna have to literally lock them away next year i know it for a fact um over the rest of the month because literally like i'm not too fussed with the fact that you haven't got any more chocolate ones so i can just split one between them but i'm more on about these ones because then they just go around the house and they end up getting missing and the reason why i've got lexi the peppa pig one this year is simply because she's obviously getting a peppa pig house for christmas so i thought that she could use all the figurines and stuff and things and make it all like like she'll have extra figurines for the house and obviously come christmas time because she gets christmas things in here she will be able to like make it Christmassy, but she's literally like kidding them around the house. So I've got no idea where they actually are. But hey ho, it's kids. I don't. I don't know why I think anything less. To be fair, um. So yeah, William got another fire engine today. He got a fire engine yesterday. And he got another one today. Which is kind of cutting. That one's actually broken. That's good. I can see like, from the next ones. Oh, oh well. So who knows? So I'm gonna go and do my wax melts quickly now anyway, now that it should be melted. So part of me really regrets like taking down my lamp. Because on days like today, my Christmas lights just aren't bright enough to actually light up my living room to sort of like give the light, which is why I've got the big light on. But, like, but then the big light's too bright, but then this is what happens when it's off. Yes, darling. I'm still thinking. Okay, I'll go get you something. Yeah, what would you like? Okay. So this is it with like the lights off, and it's still technically quite dark. I could just look it on camera, but it actually quite is. So to the brightness down there, right? See, see, this is actually how dark it is. So yeah, this is how dark it is, and I just feel like it's too dark to sit in, especially when you've got someone coming over. But then, obviously, I feel like this is too light to sit in. I'm at that part now where it's like, how do I sit? Do I turn the lights off? Do I turn them, put them on? Um, I really don't know. So yeah, and that's my dilemma that I'm in. Do I sit in the dark, but kind of not in the dark, or do I sit in the brightness like this? I have just lit some new wax melts, obviously, as you know. <laughs> that was in the last bit. Um, so yeah, that's it. So my friend's just left. Um, I had a nice little chin and a cat, chin, chin mark. Chin wag and a catch up, it's very nice. Um, so yeah, we've not actually probably seen each other for a couple of months, so it's always nice for someone to come around. I felt really good. I mean, she lives in the same village as me, like town as me, but obviously, she works as what I used to work as, so as, as a carer, so she's out quite a lot. Um, really nice, nice little chin wag and catch up. Um, I've my house was tidy, and now my house isn't tidy again, um, which is okay. My kids are allowed to, Claire's gone now, so it doesn't bother me. Um, I mean by uh, may as well not hoover up in my house because I've hoovered up and it needs hoovering again. So these are quite happily just rolling the ball to one another. Oh dear! There's some toys underneath that sofa that need picking up. She's not under the sofa, you've got some toys under there that needs picking up darling. Okay, Okay, mummy will get them then. Why well, have you got one sock on and one sock off? You don't know? Yes. Go on then, roll it back. Are they quite happily uh, doing that with one another? I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog. I think I said this already. If I did, this bit won't be in the vlog. Uh, but if I didn't, then this bit is in the vlog. Uh, my wax melts actually smell divine. Um, 
Honestly, it smells like my whole house is like as if I'm cooking, like baking. It smells so, so good. It smells especially what I would imagine a Christmas kitchen to smell like. Um, so, yeah, I've got like two wax melts with it on in here. So, I've got like this side of the living room and obviously one over there. But I've also got one in my kitchen going and one in my hallway. So, it's a very nice smell, especially when you walk downstairs. It full on just hits you and it's like going upstairs as well. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to start rambling on and things. Um, I don't need to go to the shop now, which is a good thing. Um, because I've actually, got, I've actually got some suet in the cupboard to do my dumplings with. Um, and I've just... I'm not venturing out today. No way. It's way too cold and windy and wet. Um, I'm not venturing out until I have to later on. Um, so, well, more so the kids. I'm not, well, I don't want to drag them out so Kieran can get the just bins and wash up liquid when he is on his way home. Um, so I don't want to drag the kids out so that's not fair on them. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to sit here, be nice and cosy, edit yesterday's vlog and let these two play with one another because they're actually, touch wood, playing really nicely with one another. So let's go edit yesterday's vlog and I'll catch up with you in a bit when I've got something else to do. Soccer ball with us. Soccer ball? Yeah. What soccer ball, Alex? Like? Like so you mean football? Yeah. So we're from England, yeah. so we call it football. And Americans call it soccer. Yeah. So football in America is known as rugby. Yeah. Pretty much. Play with American us. football is known as rugby. Play with us then. Okay, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog, okay? And then I'll play with you. Okay? I promise though, as soon as I've edited yesterday's vlog, I've not got much to do. Oh, so that's red on me. Why is red on me? I don't know, darling. Because Gucci got to me. That's why Gucci got you a minute ago, wasn't it? Should I kiss it better? <laughs> my little baby are you excited for Santa to come yeah. so yeah anyway that's do what I was going to say I was going to do but I had to show Lexi to yeah. play in soccer oh hello you are you going for some snuggles Like I said, I'm going to get on and edit yesterday's vlog because otherwise I'm not going to get it up in time for the day. So, I'm going to do that now and I'll see you all soon. I bought a Mickey and Minnie, like, thing from Asda and I don't know how it works, like, I don't know how it works. So I'm going to see if it works, just let me turn off my Christmas lights quickly. It doesn't have the Terry tanks on. But I want to see if this, if this works. And what it does, it's only seven pounds from Asda, so I'm not expecting like it's a bit massive. But let's have a look. I need batteries. <laughs> let's go put some batteries in. Take two, everyone. Let's go have a look what we can do. Let's go get some batteries. Let's see if I've got these type of batteries in that we need. Oh, I need a screwdriver. <sighs> Why does everything consist of having a screwdriver and batteries these days? Why can't everything be bad by your mains? Yes, I understand that. Oh, hang on. Yes, I understand that means your electricity is going up. But it's so annoying. I think you'd probably actually pay less in electricity on what you do. Alright, Alex. I think you would generally come to add all the batteries up that like you spend over Christmas. You would probably actually use less than what your bill would cost anyway. That's my idea anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, see if I can buy any batteries for this and see if it works and see what it does. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've put some batteries in it and it's not as thingy as what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna thingy the whole house. Like the whole room, but it doesn't. It literally just, it literally just lights up here, look. Which is kind of gutting. Um, so, but Lexi wants me to paint her nails, so I'm gonna paint her nails for her now. Um. And then, yeah, I need to get on and edit last night's vlog, otherwise it's not going to get edited, and the kids don't understand this. <laughs> Obviously, my kids are more of a priority than the vlog is. 
Um, but I've been on time and everything, and I'm, I haven't got much time, so I'm just going to go do the dumplings and stuff as well. Oh, I'm in such a mad rush today. I've not got time to do anything today. Oh my goodness me. Right, can I do your nails after dindins? No, of course not. I've got to do them now. Cheers, William, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to get Lex's nails out of the way um, and do dinner. And then edit last night's vlog and get it up. Gosh. Lexi, come here then, please. I'll do your nails. Let's hope and pray we can do this. Current position. I've got William here on me. And little Lexi Lou. Oh my god, William, I'm trying to film. William, I'm trying to film, boy. And I've got little Lexi down here. So this is my current situation right now. William hasn't actually been down for a nap today. Um because I don't know why. You know what, today has just gone that fast and things that I simply, time's just got away that I generally forgot to put him down for a nap. Which I think is another reason why I've not managed to actually yeah, yeah. edit yesterday's vlog until now because normally I would, I mean normally I would do it when I'm in bed. And it's worked rather well until last night because we got in so late. Oh, I've just banged heads. All right, okay, babies, right. back home it's currently like quarter past ten um this thing finished at nine but we thought we'd go and pop and see amy's mum for a little bit um why is my outside light just come on that wasn't on a minute ago it's come outside <laughs> wind's obviously thing in it anyway so yeah we've just got i've just got back like i said and oh my goodness it was the most cutest night in the whole entire world it was so lovely to just get out of the house and do some christmas craft sort of things um honestly i enjoyed every second of it um i made a i mean you just seen in my last clip but i made a car and i did some coloring and honestly it was so nice to just dewind and sort of like do something childish but therapeutic at the same time it's okay i'm very weird why my lights come on therapeutic but childish at the same time why just having a natter with different people instead of just being stuck in the house um so yeah it was so nice it's this thing called eve on a tuesday um, from 7 till 9 in Spilsby and they do a brotherhood one on a Thursday for men it's a mental health group so um, it's really nice everyone in there is so welcoming and everyone just talks to everybody and it's so nice to just dewind dewind unwind and yeah make some new friends um, so yeah anyway I'm gonna go and vlog my day 7 here and I will speak to you all tomorrow with another vlog can't speak Speak to you all tomorrow with another vlogmas. Bye, guys. Bye.